Jake Ludington here at the HP Global Partners Conference, and I'm here with Stephen DeWitt. You guys made some interesting product announcements this morning, and I was wondering if you could kind of recap them. Sure. Uh, first off, this is a great event for us. I think of all of the top tier events that HP does globally, our Global Partner Conference is perhaps the most important. We have more than 2,000 of our core partners from around the globe. We have more than 80 countries that are represented here at this venue. So this is a critical launching point for us to share not only product innovations, but changes that we're making to our overall partner program. This morning we announced a number of uh, new innovations, uh, uh, exclusives for our channel, um, uh, really built building upon what has been a historical strength of HP. Uh, and that is innovating and leading the industry. You know, people ask about HP, you know, you're a portfolio company, you invest really across the entire IT continuum in terms of our R&D dollars, and that's right. That's who we are. We are a portfolio company, and we believe very passionately in that because our customers have to be portfolio managers. You know, whether you're a large enterprise or my dad's dress shop in suburban Chicago, you have to understand technology and what it can mean for your business. So specifically, the announcements today really represented the next wave of converged infrastructure. We pioneered the concept of convergence back in 2008. Most of the industry has tried to copy us. If you look at what Dell's tried to assemble, and they're going to have some challenges with that moving forward. If you look at what industry consortiums have tried to pull together, is all to match what HP has delivered, both products in market now as well as our long-term strategy. So announcements today covered really all aspects of converged infrastructure. From a networking perspective, we rolled out a full family of BYOD solutions that encapsulate not only the infrastructure that's necessary to do it, but all of the management and provisioning and orchestration tools to allow BYOD not to be a painful, difficult process for enterprises to uh, consume, uh, but really leverage the power of BYOD. You know, most customers or most enterprises in general don't mind the fact that people want to buy technology and bring it in themselves. It's a question of managing and securing their enterprise. And if I can interrupt for a second, I, I think that the kind of underlying thread of all of the announcements today was the, the concept of eliminating complexity from the enterprise. Oh, and that is exactly it. If you think, and, and I'm kind of going off and I'll get back to the announcements in a second, but if you think about the reality of the enterprise now, businesses making decisions, they want to roll out new apps, they want to build apps, they want to create experiences for their customer base, they want to drive better conversion of their e-commerce, they want to move fast. And in the old world, the business would come up with their strategy and their idea and they'd turn around to IT and say, make it happen. And then IT would have to go to their networking team, to their server team, to their storage teams, and have them provision infrastructure in order to deliver that experience. There's no time for that anymore. We live in in a post Angry Birds world. And, and what, do you mean, what do you mean by that when you say we live in a post Angry Birds world? Well, think about it. You know, technology used to be very complex. Heck, it was only a couple of uh, decades ago that we were dealing with abort, retry, and fail. Where, where end users were fighting with the complexity of operating systems and that limited their productivity. You know, that wasn't a million years ago. That was only a couple of decades ago. What we're talking about now is eliminating all of the friction points that exist inside of a typical data center environment. Provisioning, management, allocation, uh, quality, security, management, automate as much of that as possible so that when business comes to IT, the question isn't about how many weeks is this going to take, it's about here's your business goal, here's how IT can facilitate it, make it happen. So the networking announcements today took a very complex uh, concept of BYOD, took the reality of the fact that most networking vendors that are out there bifurcate wired networks and wireless networks. We have brought both of those concepts together so that you're not dealing with disparate management, disparate tools, disparate architecture, disparate infrastructure. We've unified that under one umbrella. Similar announcements on the storage front. We have now taken our concepts of deduplication, backup, and primary storage and integrated them into a single architecture from the mid-range all the way up 
a unified management architecture across all of that and delivered it, delivered it at a set of economics that no one in the storage industry has ever touched. And, and did I get the sense that the announcement today around storage was very much a, almost a reaffirmation of what was announced at Frankfurt around being very strong into storage in the middle market? Oh, you bet. I, I think one of the, well, it's something that we certainly talked about this morning, most of the storage architectures that are out there today from the incumbents, if you will, in the storage market were architectures that were built in a different era, uh, not an era that's dealing with the pervasiveness of data that we have today. We all know that storage is going to be a never-ending GIF, a never-ending reality that enterprises are going to have to deal with. It's not like storage requirements are going to get less. They're going to get significantly greater. But again, going back to that elegance theme, that can't cripple a company. If your outlook around data is petabytes and petabytes of storage that I need to be able to mine in real time, you can't have multiple management tools, multiple mining tools. You just can't operate that way in order to deliver deliver that kind of elegance, that simplicity, you got to unify your architecture. We also made some announcements uh, in our Blade family. You know, the Blade environment, again, something HP pioneered uh, a number of years ago, uh, has a wide swath of benefits for our end customers. And today we took the next step forward in the breadth and scale of our uh, uh, Blade portfolio. And again, one of the key themes throughout all of this is that the management environment around our blades, the management environment around our servers in general, around our storage, around our networking is all coming together. We have all of that IP in-house at HP. We don't have to go out to 27 different companies and all try to align on what the priority is for right now. We've got a core roadmap that over the next handful of years is gonna drive further and further consolidation. We're gonna take the concept of integration and eliminate it from the vernacular of the data center. What a powerful concept of that what a powerful concept that is, and that's fundamental to our strategy.